guys, welcome back to the channel. Fujibe here, welcome back to another game of Total War Rome 2. I'll be playing up against Sparbed. And I brought a faction I don't tend to bring too often. I wanted to give him another go. Uh, Cold Cheese. Now, these heavy melee cav in the form of these no blood cav are going to be a useful tool in this match. I do have four of them, probably more actually. Let me count this up. I got four in the center, backed up by four Axemen. Lots of, uh, actually, what is the charge bonus on you guys? 22, so it's not bad. Uh, but I'm mainly relying on the, um, on the armor piercing of these units to finish off the job that I start with my, with my uh, heavy melee cav. Um, on the flanks, or, sorry, in the center, I've also got uh, one Eastern Archer to deal with any elephants that the Seleucids might bring. Out in the flanks, I've got two Eastern Spearmen, uh, Colchi and Nobles, two of them. And I've also got uh, an Eastern Slinger out in the flank as well. And I've got something very similar over here, two Eastern Spearmen, uh, one Eastern Slinger, Colchi and, or Colchi and Nobles. I don't know how to pronounce it, actually. I'll just go with Colchi and or Colchis. Now we've got four Syrian heavy, heavy, heavy archers brought up the front by Spybed. He's got a line of swords, four Thorax swordsmen. Uh, Levy pipemen uh, behind them, and he's got two silver shield swordsmen right at the back. Uh, three of spears in the flanks, backed up by Med Median and uh, Camel Spearman. Now, what I'm hoping to do, and I've used this uh, tactic a few times in a couple of matches already, is uh, do some kind of one-two punch uh, attack. So what I'm doing is using my um, Noble Blood Cav to hit my opponent uh, and hit his infantry fairly hard, and then back them up with... Uh, Axemen to take out units that are already lying on the ground, uh, having a snooze. <laughs> so uh, straight off the bat, uh, off the bat in this match, I saw that he didn't have any elephants on the field, so I was pretty happy to just bring my eastern archers up and just um, bait some volleys out of these Syrian heavies. Don't want them to have um, ammo by the late game, so I figure whatever, whatever I can get them to shoot at uh, will be useful. So we'll see if I time this correctly. I'm getting some nice shots onto his. Uh, his horsemen with um, my Eastern Slingers already. And in the center, I do have um, issued move orders for my Axemen, and now I'm issuing my attack orders. But I already had my Noble Blood Cav coming into the into the charge now. Getting a nice connection with these uh, Th Thorax Swordsmen all across the board, getting lots of kills. He does follow up with these uh, Camel Spearmen, which is probably a very good idea here. I do seal the deal with these Axemen. Gonna get a nice charge in there. And I am very slow for, with the micro here, so I'm, I'm, I'm like really far away with my, my wings. I really should be trying to get in there straight away, but I've, I've kind of given my opponent a little bit of time to kind of uh, redirect his troops already. So I'm going to send in these Kalki and Nobles to finish off these Camel Spearmen, see what I can do. In the center, I did lose one Noble Blood Cav, but I think it came back. Here we go. 15 men left. So already with the kills, we got five, we got nine. We got two, we got three, so not heaps, but I did manage to disrupt the uh, the enemy formation, and my axemen are gonna gonna make good on that uh, on that chaos in the center here, and get a lot of kills already. Uh, over here they're outnumbered, so they're probably not going to do terribly well. But um, charging into the three of spears, my cocky and nobles are going to make short work of those units. Getting some nice shots with my eastern slingers on these uh, camel spearmen. He's going to bring in these uh, silver shield swordsmen to see if he can um, reinforce any fights. But in the center, he did manage to um, shoot a gap with his Median Cav and go after my Eastern Archers, which is not a problem. Uh, I would rather those units kind of be sacrificed now. I've got enough Cav that I feel like I can do the job, and I just have to mainly figure out how to, how to get rid of his uh, Syrian Heavy Archers, because at this point, they're going unanswered, just firing into units that I really don't want them firing into. So I'm going to get a nice charge, a rear charge from these Eastern Spearmen, going to be brutal. Uh, it looks like he was going to go for my um, Eastern Slingers, but thought better of it. So probably not the best uh, choice for my opponent here. Um, with my own Cocky and Nobles, I'm holding up a Silver Shield Swordsman and a Thraya Spear. In the center, I have managed to finish off a lot of his units, his uh, Thorax units. But they are breaking at this point, so... I'm gonna have to try and um, help them out at some point. The Cocky and Nobles, where I did support, are holding up the line fairly well. I don't know how this happened, actually. The fact that my Axemen kind of got behind this line and these Thorax Swordsmen were kind of <laughs> on the other side. I don't know how that happened with my Axemen there, so that's weird. 110 kills on those units though. Not too bad at all. What am I firing on? I don't actually know. Probably on these, uh, these Thorax Swordsmen. 
So at this point, it's more of a, uh, a cleaning up game. So I'm just kind of isolating these kind of units and, and pulling them apart. Um, getting some nice shots in these uh, Thorax Swordsmen. He's going to have to pull out and run away because I've got these um, Noble Blood Cav who are coming in here to um, silence any archers that, that try to come back into the game. My Cocky and Noble's getting lots of well, 22, so it's not too bad, but a lot of those were on these uh, Thorax Spears and, and Silver Shield Swordsmen, so not doing such a bad job so far. These Cocky and Nobius, however, get getting a nice rear charge into these units, and it's going fairly well for them, actually. Thorax Swordsmen get a nice jab toss into the rest of my Noble Blood Cav there. And over here, I'm going to get some nice rear charges with uh, some different units. These uh, Silver Shield Swordsmen look sweet. they got some pretty sick red capes there. It's just too bad they're so expensive. Like, there's just no... I mean, their melee attack is not even that good. I mean, if they had uh, some great melee attack or some awesome weapon damage, that would kind of put them into their own um, useful kind of position. But they're very expensive. They, they hold out for a long time, for sure, but what you want from a swordsman, though, is killing power, and these guys just don't have enough of it to seem worth it, even though they look cool. I mean, to be honest, I'm a bit of a sucker for, uh, for aesthetics, so <laughs> if you to look sick, then um, I'm probably going to bring it. He did manage to get a few kills on them, though. 123 on this guy, and yeah, 36 on his gen. Not too good. He did get an XP chevron, though, so... Pretty impressive stuff. So, yeah, Colgi and Noble's doing a good job. They didn't really have to do too much, really. The, the the main lifting power was done by my Axeman in the center, just hacking apart his units. So I guess I was killing stuff on the flanks, though, with my Eastern Slingers. I guess I was taking out different targets that were that were juicy enough to to take them. But, yeah, my opponent just didn't have enough time with his uh, to get his Syrian heavy archers into play. If he did back up his um, infantry engagements with his uh, Levy Pikeman properly, he probably could have uh, pushed my Axeman off, actually. So my, my opponent had all the tools to, to kind of make that his fight, but I guess it didn't really work out that way. But uh, but thanks, Barbed, for the game. Always nice to, to play with him. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. This is Juju Bear signing out. Peace.